What's up everybody? Welcome back to Everything Colorado Living. In this video today, we're gonna go over Windsor, Colorado. Uh, where I stand today is where Windsor began. Behind me, you can see the railroad station. And as I keep walking to the left of me, as you're gonna see, is the first schoolhouse in Windsor. It's kind of cool how they kept this history alive and kept these buildings, which were built early 1900s, just so they can remember where they came from in the town of Windsor and now the city of Windsor. Another little farmhouse. So as you can see, Windsor started off as merely a couple buildings. Behind me again, a little beat house. And then down below is that chapel. So it was a very small community. And in this video, we're gonna go over what Windsor is today. We're gonna cover some demographics, medium home prices, things to do in Windsor. So stay tuned, because you're not gonna wanna miss this. This video's all about Windsor. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about the demographics of Windsor, Colorado. And as always, I'm Garrett, realtor and partner at the group. And if you wanna know all about Fort Collins Living in the surrounding Northern Colorado areas, go ahead and tap that subscribe button, notification bell, as I try to get out three videos a week to keep you all informed and updated about everything Colorado Living. And if you're looking to make a move next week or next year to Northern Colorado, I'd love to help make your transition as smooth as possible. As always, all my contact information is in the description box below. Please feel free to shoot me an email, call or text, as I'd love to chat with you. As you saw in the beginning of the video, Windsor came from humbling beginnings. It was founded in 1882 and was known for its beet farms. As we fast forward to today, the population of Windsor is now 40,000 plus people. Back more than a decade ago in 2011, the population of Windsor was under 20,000 people. They've had a 7% return annual growth over the past years. Now with that said, Windsor's location is key for growth because east of I-25, it's about 10, 15 miles from Fort Collins, but it's out east where there's so much undeveloped land so the growth of Windsor can continue for years. Windsor is 27 square miles and they have a site opportunity for commercial development, um, which they plan 13 business parks and three sites for just commercial development alone. So in the next few years, Windsor is definitely gonna continue to grow. And with that growth comes jobs and economic development. More than 22% of the jobs in Windsor, Colorado are either education services or healthcare providers. So if you're a teacher looking to move in Northern Colorado, Windsor might be a great place for you. And of those, the leading employer is the Weld School District. And Windsor has more than 13,000 housing units. Of those units, more than 80% are owner occupied. And the total housing income combined for each household, the median price is about $105,000. So I know what you're thinking. How much does a home cost in Windsor, Colorado to buy? Well, in 2021, late December, the medium home price was $540,000. And with the crazy market we saw just last year, it went all the way up to $700,000 plus. And at the end of last year, in December 2022, when the housing market started stabilizing, the median home price in Windsor was just over $600,000. With that continued growth in Windsor, the home prices from 2019 to today have seen a 14% rise in home prices. So it's a good investment if you're looking to move to Northern Colorado. A big part over the last couple years of that growth in the rising home prices was the community rain dance. I did a video below that goes over all of the community of rain dance that's located in Windsor, Colorado. You should go check it out. It's a must watch. Now I know that was a quick video, but I just wanted to cover some of the numbers and dem demographics of Windsor, Colorado, so you had a better idea about the Northern Colorado cities. And as we wrap up this video, I did promise you things to do in Windsor. And as a Coloradoan, when I think of Windsor, Colorado, for all my golf fanatics out there, it's a must see. Windsor is comprised of Pelican Lakes, Ptarmigan, 
And the new one that I covered in the Rain Dance is the Rain Dance National. It's gonna be the longest golf course in the nation. So Windsor also might be a golfer's paradise. So there it is. As we ran through the numbers of Windsor, Colorado, shoot me a comment below of what you found most interesting. Or if you wanna learn more, shoot me a comment as well and I'll see what I can do on my next video about Windsor, Colorado. As always, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.